everybody. Hey, hey. Hope y'all are having a good Sunday. Hope your weekend's been great. Ours has been great. Uh, we just got home from church not too long ago. Had lunch. Uh, we're gonna get ready for our day a little bit later. I think I have some things I'm gonna prep for this week. Hi, Jade. Um, prep for food this coming week and different things like that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Getting ready. We are going to do a live here. Client Rachel should be coming on here pretty soon. Uh, we're going to go live together and talk about her time, her experience in our program how it's been for her, all of those things. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's see where she's at. If you are watching, tell me hi, tell me where you're watching from. Happy May. May is a busy month. I just put a poll up yesterday on my stories asking how May looks for a lot of y'all, and so many people said that May is super busy. I'm tired. Um, is super busy for you guys, and it is for me as well. Every month is always busy. Who am I kidding, right? Always busy. Uh, let's see. No, you are not coming. And let's see. Let's see. Rachel should be coming on here soon. Uh, we've got some really awesome things coming up. Oh my gosh. I turned the camera on and I start yawning. Um, really good things coming up in May. Our team has really been working behind the scenes to bring a whole lot of stuff um, to you guys here soon. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Also be on the lookout for some things that are coming later this week. I'm excited about um, some things we've never done. We're going to have a big summer kickoff uh, because if you haven't been thinking about summer, then May is forcing you to think about summer. So it is coming. It will be here soon. Uh, and I'm excited about it. Our team is excited about it. We're sharing it uh, with our clients a little bit later this week also. So um, got some cool things coming there. I'm also gonna get started on next week. We've got a master class that we're starting where I'm really gonna dive in and talk about the things that you really need to be need to be paying attention to. If you are really wanting to shed fat this summer or before the summer, but you also really want to uh, slim down and you want to look more toned and lean without feeling or looking bulky and um, so we're really focusing we're really focusing on that feminine shape and feminine figure that we want to sculpt in our swimsuits um, in our tank tops and shorts and all of that this summer most of our clients are people that they're really not looking to get um, a defined six-pack or super lean at you know like just to feel and look shredded. Really, it's just more about, hey, we want to learn healthy habits and a healthy foundation so that you don't feel like you have to be in the gym 24 seven in order to maintain your weight loss or in order to look the way you want to look. Um, and you also want to lose the weight, but then have a shapely figure underneath so that you uh, you have curves where you want them. And, and we're focusing also on um, really cinching your waist and, and giving you uh, specific training programs and workouts to, to do just that instead of build out blocky abs um, and different things like that. So we're really focusing on all of those things this um, this month. And I've got a master class that I'm going to start teaching um, you guys about those things and really kind of coming and putting those things in the forefront of what it is that you need to be working on and really paying attention to uh, in order to achieve those results that you want to see. Um, so that will be next week that uh, we will be starting to talk about that. Oh, hey, Rachel, I see you on here. Perfect. All right. Hi, girl. Hi. 
Hi. How are you? Doing good. <laughs> good. Thanks for doing this for us, girl. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, this is going to be awesome. You are somebody that you're always posting um, about your, your just – you're just super inspirational. So I can't wait for people to be able to like hear your story, hear what you have to say um, and just share, because I know that you relate to a lot of yeah. people um, for sure. So tell us for a minute, first of all, give us some knowledge on you, background, kind of uh, what you do, kids, home, all of those things. Yes. Yeah, so I am very busy. I'm a nurse. I'm an oncology nurse. I um, have two little ones, a one-year-old and a four-year-old. And uh, I joined the program when I was like seven months postpartum. And the postpartum depression really got to me. And on top of COVID just was just starting. And I knew I had to do something. And that's when I yeah. looked for you to you and um, knew I needed help. And I knew to knew I needed to be involved in something like it's just it it was bad months ago mm -hmm. like mentally and physically yeah yeah after you have those babies some that that can get to you feeling so um by yourself uh, yes. and feeling like okay where I'm at is kind of like feeling stuck I think that's something that you know, we can feel a lot. So you were kind of struggling with that postpartum depression. You had just had your second baby. Uh, did you say eight months postpartum or seven months? I joined the program about seven to eight months postpartum. Okay. Um, it was close to eight months, I think. Yeah. Um, and I put on um, a lot of weight with a second pregnancy. Never really got okay. weight off with the first one. And I was like, I'm not doing this again. It's uh, – Yeah like I need help and and that's um, hard it, go ahead you, you think you're eating right and you think you're doing all the right things and then um like breastfeeding on top of it you're trying to like consume all the calories you can and then once you stop breastfeeding it's like everything that you were consuming you're just putting on weight and stuff yes. so it was hard it was really hard it's and not hard. knowing what to eat. And then, um, you think you're eating healthy, but really you're just consuming tons of fat or tons of carbs and it's not helping losing weight. And mm. that's where I was struggling with. And I never worked out before. And then okay. COVID hit and I was like, well, I'm going to have to work out at home. Uh, all the gyms are closed. And, um, I like, uh, the day that I was falling asleep with uh, my one-year-old, I was just would fall asleep with her all the time, and my four-year-old would be up running around. I'd be like, ah, that's the day I was like, I need to do something. <laughs> and it's uh, true. Like, I know a lot of moms that go through stuff, and hopefully th it's really true. Like, I was like, I'm so unhealthy. I need to have motivation and fatigue for them. Yeah. Yeah. So did you have like, was, was energy, was that the deal? Like you, you, did you feel like you didn't have very much energy? Yes. I feel like my, the energy was awful. Like I wanted okay. to take naps and then we would take naps on Saturday and I would still feel exhausted. And I knew it was just partly because of, um, the weight and I, um, and I just wanted to have energy back and I knew I needed to be there for my kiddos. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's hard. Um, and it's tough, especially being a new mom or not even being a new mom, just adding more kids in. I mean, that's never easy, especially if you don't get that weight off in between those, those babies. Um, that yeah. can just, and they're always with me. So <laughs> yeah. It, and, and like you said at the beginning, like you are busy. Those babies are always with you. Um, you got a lot on your, yeah, I know, I know you have a lot on your plate and you always have, but I think that's why I just, your story is so inspirational because it, you're showing that like you made it a priority. It's not something that needs to take up your entire life at all because you've got so many other things. We all have so many other things that are going on. We, we can't let it take up our entire life, but it does have to have a certain spot. Yes. Um, 
and I be able to, that. And to I, fit it in. Um, and I would work out about uh, like nine or 10 o'clock at night. Like you literally have to put yourself first. Um, I the baby. So I, um, my husband works late at night. So I do all the things at night. I, uh, do all the bath time, the bedtime and everything. And so I would make it a goal every single day to do something, just, just do one thing around the house. And then, um, at 10 o'clock, no matter if the dishes needed to be done or no matter if the house needed to be clean, I was going to work out at 10 and that would give me time to like settle down. And then I would probably go to bed around like 1130 or 12. And it doesn't make you tired. Like if you, the workouts that you provide, like you're able to go to sleep. People are always like, why, how do you work out so late? It's, I mean, you're like, it doesn't like, you don't automatically like, oh my gosh, I can't go to sleep at all. Like if you like prioritize it where you like can calm down just for a little bit and you can go to sleep. It's, yeah. I like working out at night. I think thought it was yeah. very helpful. I didn't like well, how to work out anyway. So. Well, and that's what I was about to say. I think that the deal is, is it's just, you didn't have a choice. Like that's the time you had to work out, but it also wasn't a choice to continue feeling the way you were feeling, having no energy, falling asleep when your four year olds doing whatever in the house, like, you know, those kinds of things. Like you just knew, all right, I'm at a place where I have to do something. And yeah. if that's what you had to do to get it done, you got it done. You did it. Um, and the biggest thing for me that, that just sticks out so much for you is you just took charge. You just said, you know what? I can't just keep letting life run me over, being busy run me over, all of those things run me over. I have to stand up where I'm at right now and do what I can with what I have. Um, and you are a perfect example of that because that's the time you had. So, hey, you know what? You got it done. And that is just incredible. It is so inspiring because a lot of people wouldn't, you know, that they, they would say, well, if that's the only time I have, that's not available for me and I'm just not going to do it. But you didn't do that. And, and, and so at that point back then you reached out, we went to high school together. So we knew yes. each other, you know, we've known each other for a while kind of a thing, uh, but kind of share that. Like, so, so tell us what that thought process was. Like, did you watch things for a while um, oh, before yeah. you joined in? Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I probably, I mean, as soon as you got involved, like involved with that whole health thing, uh, I, that's when I, um, and then I started, I mean, just listening to you. I think it took over, it was almost a year, I think, um, before I actually just knew this was the right time. And I knew to look out for you because you are inspirational and just, um, and then once I, contacted you and then find out found out all the things that the program provides like it provides mm -hmm. the food you need to eat or like you tell us like what to eat and then uh kind of it kind of ventures out to let us do it on our own and also like the workouts and then you like feel special like you feel involved with the the community of the girls that are going through the same thing yes um when you have your friends outside of uh, what you do, but what you really want to focus on is your weight loss. And you have other girls in the community that are focusing on the same thing. And I really like that part too. Um, and just being involved with something as well. And I really, yeah. and that's when I knew like, this was the, this was going to be the right thing for me. And uh, this program was going to be the right thing for me. Hmm. That's good. Because like, like we said earlier, it's very easy to be on our own. It's very easy to uh, kind of isolate ourselves. But um, whenever you can see that, that there are other people that are doing this too, there are other women that are being incredible and deciding, hey, I'm going to do this and, and do it. Um, and so... Uh, Sorry, she got some fall. No, you're fine. Uh, it's a putting... You know, putting you guys together, putting all of our clients together in our Facebook group and on our calls and stuff like that, it is so inspirational because you guys get to feed off of each other. We interact and we get charged up through like other people's energy and, and yes. hearing how they're, you know, hearing how they're doing and, and the, the challenges that we do together um, and stuff like that is just really good. It helps us to be 
more proactive. It helps us to be feeling like we're connected. We're not isolated and we're not alone. So then um, big things that you were a little bit nervous about whenever you started. Where, was there anything? Where were you at? If you can kind of go back and remember. Um, hold on, let me get this girl before she starts to fall. Oh, you're fine. Okay. Um, I was a little nervous starting the program because I was, I never worked out before ever. And, yeah. um, the most thing I did was like go on the treadmill or elliptical or I didn't even know what, like, I didn't know what to do in order to succeed to my goals of the, my weight loss. And, um, when I knew that y'all provided like what workouts to do and on top of videos, I was like, Oh, I'm on board. Like I got to do this. Mm -hmm. Like they provide everything. It's almost like, um, and then too, like you are, sorry, <laughs> little one year old. Um, and just like, I was like, Oh, I gotta be on board of this. And, um, and then too, like I was paying for it. I didn't like have my husband pay for it or anything like that. So it was almost like a brand new car. Like when you buy that brand new car and you want to take care of it and you like make a goal every day to like make sure there's gas in it, make sure, you know, that's how I felt with this. Like I literally mm. woke up every day and made it a goal to, oh, I got to get this workout done. Oh, I'm going to eat this much. And that's what I focused on daily. I, um, and I felt like that, like, as soon as I like had that, it's just a daily goal that you went through. And then yeah. once I saw like 10 pounds off, I was like, oh my God, it's working. <laughs> and then I saw more, I saw another 10 pounds. And then towards the end of the program, I was like, oh my God, I've lost 30 pounds. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. And oh. I started seeing muscles. Like, oh my God, I don't think I've been this fit since in my, even in my twenties. I was never like yeah. this. <laughs> it's awesome. It, uh, your, your progress has just been phenomenal. Phenomenal. What did we end it at? 30 pounds or is it, where, where are you at? Yeah. So I weighed myself on Friday and I was like 148. So I started the program about what I was really like 180, like 177. So it was a good like 30 pounds that I lost. Yeah. And I was That's like, amazing. so excited. That's I was like, oh, yes. I not fit into anything. <laughs> no. I had to buy new clothes, and that was, that was a very, uh, like, even, like, scrubs, like, because uh, I wear scrubs every day. I would buy, like, larges and extra larges, and then a couple weeks ago, I bought a small, and it was like, I haven't bought a small in forever. Probably since, oh. uh, probably 10 years ago. I think it's been about 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. And your yeah. pictures when you're posting those, uh, you know, in our app when you post those, but then also when you're posting like uh, just here on Instagram on your page and you'll tag me and stuff like that, your your frame is, uh, you know, it's, you've got that muscle and it's not just because yeah. I know a lot of people when we lose a lot of weight, if we aren't, if you're not working out and you just lose a lot of weight, then you're not you're just left with just a, an empty kind of frame. Well, in the process of you losing this weight, we have been working on sculpting your body and your muscles so that now once this, this weight is gone, you've got this frame. You know, you've got you've got shape and you just went on vacation. How was that vacation, by the way? I haven't even talked to you. Oh, it was so nice. I need to post, like, um, I was able to wear, like, the bathing suits that I wanted. and. Awesome like packing for vacation to like have because we drove to Florida um just packing the meals and everything I was so prepared like I knew exactly oh. what to pack and then um even eating out like I knew like how many calories to consume and uh just it was just great like especially on the drive there like I would pack like turkey with cheese and crackers and like yeah. the it's it's for the whole family too and I knew like uh just what meals to pack for the kids and how much to consume on the way down there and not to overeat or overindulge and it was 
it was perfect. Like I knew exactly what to do. Cause used to, I would probably pack like stuff that I think is a healthy and, but really not. And probably Cheetos. And I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tons of fruit. Cheetos, and tons, I don't candy. know. Yes. Yeah. Like candy. I don't know. Heck and, yeah. Um, so what, what do you do ahead. on vacation? So you packed, did you pack meals for when you were there? We, as soon as we got on, as soon as we got there, we, uh, went to the store and we, uh, got stuff for like morning and evening and then we would go out for dinner. But I mean, um, I didn't ever overindulge and I like knew what to eat for breakfast and I knew already what to Mm -hmm. eat for lunch and I knew to consume, you know, that protein at dinner. I did not have time to work out at (laughs) vacation because two little ones running around. And it was rainy, but still like we, I just felt so active and I felt so good and I felt so good in a bathing suit. And I think that was the best thing ever. I don't, I don't remember the last time I actually like felt good in a bathing suit Um, around like anybody. So it it was wonderful. And I got to buy new bathing suits and, um, Mm. And then when we're at the beach, I like pack things for the beach that I knew that would be just macro appropriate. And it was, uh-huh. it was a very good, healthy experience on That's vacation. That's so awesome. Heck yeah. yeah. So cool. And so feeling cool. good in a bathing suit. Oh my God. <laughs> That's just the biggest thing. Yeah. Feeling yeah. good when you're there feeling like, oh, you know, oh, oh my gosh, like, this is so different than when I was here last time. And that's all because of you, yeah. all the work that you're doing and the healthy habits that you are building upon each other um, to be able to still do some of those things while you're on vacation is just amazing to feel like you've got those things under control. It's just wonderful. Um, so tell us, tell me like some of what are your favorite things that you're eating like now? Um, at home, not on vacation, but like just your normal everyday kind of a thing. Cause you're not following our meal plans anymore. Uh, you know what you need to do to make your meals and all of that. Um, sorry, you cut a little bit. Ah. Are you there? Yep. What was the last part, Brittany? Sorry. I said, what are some of your favorite things that you're eating now? Like just during your normal day to day? Cause you're not following, like we gave you those meal plans and your meal plans at the beginning of your program, but like you have learned how to do it yourself now. What are your favorites that yes. you kind of go to? Like what, what are those things? Well, I have definitely learned through the program, like what to eat, especially, um, to consume um like I never buy my lunch anymore like I always bring my lunch um and then I always I used to go to Starbucks all the time thinking that oh these egg bites are good for you and Uh like I used to go to Starbucks all the time so I quit doing that um but I've fallen in love with I mean just eating like sweet potato and egg in the morning I oh yeah love that um, and I bring my lunch every day and no matter if it's leftovers from the night before or even just a wrap, I think, um, <laughs> I think just the, like, I've, I eat a lot of wraps and I've learned like what to put in those wraps to make it like macro appropriate. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, even the even the meal plans that y'all provide, I, I tell people like, it's good for the whole family. Like it's not good. It's not just yeah. good for yourself. It's good for the whole family. Um, my kids, my kids and my husband eat the meals that I make now. And, um, uh-huh. because, yeah. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's easy stuff like chicken tacos or just, it's so easy. <laughs> It is. Um, it's so easy. We don't have time hey. to be all up in the kitchen and doing all of that all no. day. And, and that's what I love, too. It's like, it's just real food. Like, we're just going to show you how 
how to do it with that real food and, and, and what you need um, and all of that. So last yeah, question that I, wanna, told I, I have for you. It's so good for the whole family. And, um, and it's, uh, sorry, she just built stuff. You're fine. <laughs> it's so good for the whole family. And, um, in, like, even it's good for the next day. And I've just learned yeah. how to cook, just learned how to cook appropriately. For sure. Cook it appropriately, prepping yourself and all of those things. What would you say is one thing you've learned or you've really kind of gained and found that really doesn't have to do with weight, doesn't really have to do with anything like that, just something that kind of like was unexpected that you, it could be something you've learned about yourself. It could, you know, like anything, like what, does something come to mind that doesn't have to do with like a number on the scale? of something that you have learned and accomplished this through working with us. Yes. I've learned you can work out at home in the garage oh. with, <laughs> with the kitchen mat. I literally didn't even have a mat. So I got my kitchen mat from my kitchen and just started like, Oh, this is comfortable. It'll work. So you can work out at home in the garage. It's, it's perfectly fine. There you or you go. can work out at, in the backyard, like you don't need that much space to work out. <laughs> you don't need a yeah, nice new you. gym or anything. Um, you don't. And then you, you can do it with two kids. She's with me all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can That's do right. it with like two kids. And the thing I had to do is like just um, put something that I was consuming, like social media or. TV, I had to stop the negativity and those things to to be able to do something for myself. Mm. And um, I've learned a lot about like how I, I never watch TV anymore. I never like, and so like the negativity that was consuming my life, I like mm. got rid of. And even yeah. um, uh, like at the beginning of the program, I was like concerned about alcohol and stuff. I was like, oh my God, what about alcohol? Oh. And I don't even drink that anymore because it isn't even like, like make, it doesn't even like make me feel good. I can go to sleep on my own. I don't need that glass of wine or I don't need mm. um, that glass of wine to relax. So I'm like already relaxed and yeah. <laughs> don't have, and there you so go. just something like that. Just kind of all learned. works together. That's good. That, and it has really helped my mental health. Like I'm just so much more confident and just so much more um, energetic. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. that's awesome, girl. Well, I just know you're so inspirational. You, I'm just, every time you post all of the things that you, you know, you're, you do, you're talking about, you made a post the other day about motherhood, how absolutely freaking hard it is. And it's also one of the best things we, we will ever do in our lives. And, you know, just, filling ourselves up, like you said, like making yourself important, doing what you can with what you have, using your kitchen mat, working out at 10 p.m. at night, just because, hey, that's what we got to do sometimes. Um, but it has so paid off for you. And I am sad to see you go. I really am because. I know. I'm, man, I'm, like, I'm so nervous. <laughs> but I was like, I'm going to do. It. I can do it. I don't. You can absolutely do it. I mean, you can absolutely do it. You just went on vacation and killed it. Like, you can do it. And you have developed habits. We have taught you to do these things on your own. You don't need us for those meal plans anymore. You don't need, you know, you can do these things. And that's, that's what we need is just to continue one day after the other, like you've been doing, waking up, saying, all right, here's what we're going to do today getting it done and moving forward from there. Um, what would you say to somebody if they're thinking about joining our program or maybe they're a busy mama, maybe they're postpartum like you were, what would you say to them to kind of give them some advice if they're thinking about joining our program? I say I never put myself first um, with this program. I always like put my husband first or I put my kids first or my family. But literally I – found out in this program like I cannot take care of them if I don't take care of myself first and I think that's the biggest thing um you can't I can't be happy or do the things that I want to do or feel good without putting me first 
and then I'm able to take care of them a hundred percent. And I think that is the biggest thing that people uh, are, they're even afraid to ask for help. And I just want to tell people like, ask for help. Like we're mamas, like we can't do everything by ourselves and we can't be superwoman all the time. We can act like we can, but we can't, we need help. And outside sources, like through your program is the best way and best opportunity to do that and do it for yourself and make yourself feel important and good again. Mm, That's right. We're all here for each other. We all, you know, we got to have each other's backs. We're all mamas. We're all just absolutely killing it in our own lives. And we're super, we really are superheroes with as much as we do, you know, I mean, we are, (laughs) and we've got to, a rising tide lifts all boats. It does not mean that that you are incompetent. It doesn't mean you're a failure if you reach out and ask for help. It's just yeah. buying speed, really, to get it done and to say, hey, I'm just going to do it. And they can help me figure out how to do it in a way to where I don't have to change everything about my life. I can just make it fit in with our life. So I, you said it so perfectly. That's awesome. So Thank you so much. And congratulations again. 30 pounds, multiple inches lost. You have had to buy new clothes, new scrubs. I I remember, I'm pretty positive. Was it you that told me when you joined that your scrubs, like you, like they were ripping, like you couldn't even fit into the scrubs you had fit into? It was like, I I would bend over and like, I could just tell that they were ripping. I don't even wear those scrubs anymore. I have bought a whole new wardrobe of scrubs. And there's sm- like, I can wear smalls now and it is the best feeling ever. I haven't been able to do that in 10 years. So yeah, it's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. So I'm just, I'm, I'm so proud of you. I'm so excited for you because I know you're not finished here. Like I want you to keep posting your things because your posts, your like all of that, because it is, it just, like I said, a rising tide lifts all boats. It inspires so many other people and you're not done here. I cannot wait to see where you are three months from now, six months from now, you know, just all of those things. Cause you know, you know, now I can do this. Like there's yeah. there, if you set your mind to it, you can do it. And I'm just excited for that. And I'm so, so thankful well, you trusted so us. For having a program. I thank you so much, Brittany, for having a program for women to like feel good about themselves again and uh all the I have learned so much through the program and I just thank you so much and I've learned so much about myself and uh it's been the best experience ever oh absolutely well girl it's just it's awesome I'm, I'm just pumped so thank you so much uh thanks for taking your time today to do this and yeah. we will we will just miss you miss you miss you but I'm just, I'm just so thankful uh, just for everything that you have, you've accomplished and all of that. It's just wonderful. So thank you so much. Anybody watching guys, Rachel posts all the time. Follow her. She's amazing. She's inspirational. I post her things all the time because once again, it's inspirational and amazing. If you have any questions, I'm sure that she would be more than willing to just share her experience and, and all of that with you guys, but feel free to reach out. There is nothing wrong with asking for help. Doesn't mean you're any less. It just means, hey, somebody can help me and I don't have to put more on my plate. Um, so, yeah, so go have a great rest of your day. And thanks again, girl. We will talk Thank soon. Thank you. Okay? Bye. All right. Bye, girl.